Welcome. In this playthrough of Marvel Champions card game, we have Captain America and Spider-Man teaming up against the Claw in expert mode with a little help from MODOK. So down at the table, we have Claw 2 and 3 in play. See, he starts with a Schema 2, Attack of 1 with a Forced Interrupt of when he attacks, we give him one additional boost. Gets 18 health per player, so 36 got this set up at 46 because he's getting plus 10 health from the immortal claw that we'll be bringing into play here so we'll go ahead and take a look at that so claw gets plus 10 hit points comes in with three threat per player so we'll get six on this then looking at our underground distribution main scheme so said we're doing Claw 2 and 3 for Expert Mode, so we've got those three cards in there. Along with the Standard Encounter set, and instead of Masters of Evil, we've got MODOK in there instead. So for Setup, search Encounter Deck for the Defense Network Side Scheme and put that in play. So we've got that here, and that's going to be coming in with 2 plus another 2 threat on it. So 4 there. Then for the underground distribution, six threat per player. So 12 on here, the main scheme of move. When revealed, we discard cards from the encounter deck until a minion is discarded. Put that minion into play and gauge with the first player. So we'll give our encounter stack one last shuffle and then discard until we find a minion. So man out of time. The weapons runner will come in play. This stays in the discard pile. Obligations, I always shuffle those in the stack to start with, but when they come out for the setup, they will get shuffled back in play or back into the encounter stack. So then for our heroes, we've got Steve Rogers, recovery of three. Living Legend, reduce the cost of the first ally played each round by one. And set up, search your deck and discard pile for a shield upgrade and add it to your hand and shuffle your deck. Hand size of six on this side and 11 hit points. The Captain America side, he's got two thwart, two attack, two defense. I can do this all day action. Discard one card from your hand to ready Captain America. Limit once per round and a hand size of five. So we'll give his deck one final shuffle and see what we get to start with here. So six cards. Definitely good with starting with the Hulk. Oh, well, Shield Toss is good too, just to automatically get that out of the way and do some damage to Claw. So not perfect, but we'll keep it. Instead of pitching cards and risking getting into our shield, so go looking for a shield here. See if it would have been on top. We'd have been all right to risk it. And pull a shield in, which will give us plus one defense, and we'll gain retaliate. Then for Peter Parker, recovery of three. Scientist ability for resource. We can generate a mental resource once per round. Hand size of six, hit points of 10. On his other side, one thwart, two attack, three defense. Spider sense, interrupt. When the villain initiates attack against us, we'll draw a card in a hand size of five there. So we'll shuffle his stack here. And start with six cards. Drawing into a Helicarrier, Power of Justice, Swinging Web Kick times two, and some allies, which is very important against Claw. With two additional side schemes to play, I definitely like getting her out. 
It'd be nice to get this out early, but at the expense of web kicks, I think we'll just keep this and see what happens. Well, we're going to start by putting Hulk in play. It'll be one less because of Steve Rogers' ability, and we'll use an uppercut for that extra card. Go ahead and flip over. Go ahead and play Fearless Determination. Give us plus one thwart till the end of the phase and allow us to draw a card. Drawing into another Fearless Determination, which we'll go ahead and use again to find Nick Fury. So we now have a thwart of four. So if the thwart of four, we'll go ahead and thwart, get rid of this. Yep, I guess we'll do that. Then we'll put our shield in play. We'll discard a card to ready cap and have him thwart again to get this down to two. Then we're going to overspend Genius, put our Asgard weapon into play. After your hero attacks an enemy, we can spend a physical resource to deal two damage to an enemy. And then we will have Hulk swing for three in the call, taking him down to 43. And then with his ability, discard a card. So that's going to allow us to do two damage to an enemy. So we'll go ahead and get this guy punched out. Putting a damage on Hulk. We'll bring Jessica Jones in. So we'll use this for two. And his free resource for the third, she'll get plus one thwart for each side scheme in play. Since there's one side scheme, her thwart becomes two. We'll use her to get rid of this. We're just going to take 10 hit points off of Claw. Taking him down to 33. And she'll take a damage. Peter Parker will flip over. And I'm stuck with, do I want a swinging web kick or a helicarrier in this early in the game? And I just have a hard time passing up doing eight damage to something. So we're going to spend these three resources doing a swinging web kick, taking him down to 25, and go ahead and have Spider-Man swing for two more. So down to 23. That's in for our, our actions. So drawing up to five here. So we've got a handful of resources, a helicarrier, two super soldier serums, power of aggression, and a shield toss. And for Spider-Man, some great cards here also, webbed up, backflip, swinging web kick, under surveillance, and a spider tracer. So to start off, Claw's gonna get two thread on the main scheme. Then he will attack on Captain America. And I think we're just going to let Jessica Jones take that attack. So he gets two boost cards. So base one, so just two damage coming in, which is just barely enough to take her out. Then initiate an attack on Spider-Man. So we get to draw a card into a web shooter. So, base one, six damage coming our way. Seems like a good idea to do a backflip. So when we would take any amount of damage from an attack, prevent all of that damage. And we'll deal out some encounter cards for each of us. So attach to Claw. After he attacks and damages a character, stun that character. We can spend one of each of the three resource types to discard this card. And for Spider-Man, Claw's Vengeance. Claw attacks you. If this attack deals damage, place one threat on the main scheme. So Claw will initiate an attack on Spider-Man, allowing him to draw a card. And then he will defend. So base one. So one damage coming our way, and we blocked it, so nothing else triggers. And Spider-Man becomes first player. So 
So I'll start by putting a web shooter in place. So this will give us some hero resources to use. So get three counters on that. Then I'm going to play webbed up with three resources plus one off of this. So in hero form, attached to an enemy. When attached enemy will attack, we'll discard webbed up instead. Then stun that enemy, so that attack claw up for two rounds. Or two attacks anyway. And that's all he's doing. Then we'll have Hulk swing in for three. And he'll do one damage to everybody with that. It's down to 19, 10, and nine. So he'll take one from that and one more for his attack. Then for two resources, we'll put in our super soldier serum. And then put another one in using this for a resource, this for the second. Then we will attack for two, taking him down to 17. Then after your hero attacks an enemy, spend a physical resource, deal two damage to an enemy. So we'll use that for the other one. So down to 15. That will end our actions. So drawing five cards over here. Get another web shooter, surveillance team, a webbed up, endurance, and for justice. And for cap. Energy, combat training, our helmet, Valkyrie, and a heroic strike. So we'll go from two to four threat. It's gonna attack on Spider-Man, but the webbed up's gonna get him stunned. And he goes to attack Captain, and we'll remove the stun. So in counter cards for Spider-Man, he's got an eviction notice. So we may flip to alter ego form, choose to exhaust Peter Parker to remove this from the game, or discard one card at random for your hand. From your hand, this card gains surge and discard this obligation. So we'll go ahead and have him go deal with his past due rent notice. And then for Cap, a Sonic Boom. Either spend one of each resource or exhaust each character you control. Um, so the resources isn't an option. And Cap becomes first player. So we're going to start by putting combat training out in play for these two resources to give us plus one attack. Then we're going to do a heroic strike. So hero action, deal six damage to an enemy. If you paid for this using a physical resource, stun that enemy. We'll use this for one and these two physical resources for the other two. So six damage and stun. So down to nine. Then we'll discard a card to ready cap and have him swing in for another three. So down to six. For Peter, we're gonna use his free resource to put out another web shooter. Flip him on over. We've got another webbed up in hand, so two resources. Each of these are hero resources, so we'll spin one off each of those to put another webbed up in play. So we've got Claw taking up for a little bit longer. That will end our actions. So five cards for Cap. Getting tag team, our apartment, heroic strike, shield block, two of those. And for Spider-Man, we're gonna keep for justice and draw four more. Getting a backflip, so a lot of defensive cards, but we don't have to worry about Claw attacking us, hopefully. So from four to six threat, Claw will attack on Captain America. The status cards have priority, so he'll remove stunned. Then 
on Spider-Man, who used the webbed up. Stunned comes back. Deal out some encounter cards. So biomechanical upgrade. So this gets Surge. Attach it to a minion with the highest printed hit points and without another biomechanical upgrade. So it's got no target. But if it did, when attached minion would be defeated, heal all damage from it instead, then discard this card. So this gets discarded, but the Surge does go off. Sound manipulation. So we are in hero mode. So we will take two damage and Claw will heal two damage. Down to eight. And up to eight. And for Spider-Man, he gets an armored guard. So comes in with toughness. And Spider-Man becomes first player. So he's going to use for justice, using these two to pay for it, and they create wild resources. So we can remove four threat from a scheme. Then we'll put in under surveillance, attach this to the main scheme, increase the threat value by four, so our two resources. Let's take that from 12 to 16. And we'll have Spider-Man just attack to get rid of the tough status. So here we'll have Captain America attack for three, taking him down to five. Spend a physical resource to do two more damage. Discard a card to ready. Attack for another three. So we've got Claw down to zero, finishing his second version. So on to the third, comes in with toughness. And 22 health per player. So 44. We're gonna have Hulk attack into the armored guard for three, which will get rid of him. And his extra ability is going to do one damage to everybody, which will get rid of Claw's toughness. Take him down to seven, down to eight, and that will put enough damage on him to leave. And I'm going to spend one of each of the three different types of resources to get rid of the Sonic Converter. Then we we'll use our last resource to bring in Steve's apartment. Then I think we're going to go ahead and flip him over to use his apartment to draw a card and heal a damage. Getting an uppercut, taking him up to eight. Now we'll end our actions. I'm going to keep this card for Spider Man, so drawing four more cards. And for Steve, I'll go ahead and keep this and draw five more. So we've got two uppercuts now, along with Hercules, Agent 13, Mockingbird, and Downtime. So going from two to four on our threat. Claw will attack over here, removing his stun. Scheming here, so three, four, so up to eight there. So then we are going to get a weapons runner, which has surge. And then goes into another surge when revealed exhaust your identity card. Let me just make sure I can't, yep, can't deal with that. Catch a claw, he gains retaliate one. We can spend one of each of the resources to get rid of that. And then over here, for an alter ego form, the card gains surge. And the doomsday chair. When revealed, Modoc is not in play. Search the encounter deck and discard pile for Modoc. Put him into play, engage with you, then shuffle the encounter deck. 
So that gets eight on it. I don't think we've seen Modoc yet. He was coming up very shortly anyway. All right. And then Cat becomes first player. So we'll start with drawing a card and healing one, finding some strength, going up to nine health. Then we'll bring Mockingbird into play. She'll be one cheaper, so we're spending two for her. And after she enters play, stun an enemy. Then I wanna go ahead and bring in Agent 13. We'll spin two here and one with her serum. And when she enters play, remove two threat from a scheme. Then we will flip him over. Attack for three. Down to 41. Then exhaust this. Spending a physical resource to do two more damage, down to 39. Discard a card to ready cap to swing again for three. Down to 36. We'll go ahead and use her to thwart for two. And Mockingbird for one. We'll bring in a surveillance team with Genius. This will get three counters on it. We can exhaust it to remove a counter, to remove one threat from a scheme. So three counters come on. We'll go ahead and use it. Take that down to two. Then we'll go ahead and use a web shooter to bring in Heroic Intuition along with this resource. And that's going to be a haul we can do. So ready all our cards here. We'll go ahead and keep downtime, drawing four more. Getting Tigra, Relentless Assault, Tag Team, and a Heroic Strike. And Spider-Man, keeping her backflip. So backflip with energy followed Black Cat and Aunt May. So now we're gonna get three thread out here. So up to five. Claw will attack, but he's stunned. Modok will attack. And we'll take two damage and retaliate for one. Then claw, let's see. Yep, that doesn't do anything there. Tax over here. We get to draw a card. So base two, so five damage coming in. We're gonna backflip out of that. Then the weapons runner will hit him for one. Then encounter cards, finding an armored guard with toughness. And over here, place four thread on each side scheme. If there are no side schemes in play, discard cards from the top encounter deck until you find a side scheme. Well, we've got one that we're not even dealing with. So we'll just add four more on that one and see what Spider-Man wants to do. First thing he'll do is bring in Black Cat for two. And after she comes into play, discard the top two cards of your deck, add each card with a printed mental resource discarded this way to your hand. So that worked out great for us. Then she will go ahead and attack over here to get rid of toughness. Spider-Man will swing to get rid of the weapons runner. 
We will pitch follow to put Aunt May in play. We'll go ahead and use this. Knock this down to four. So for cap, we're going to use Relentless Assault. Spending these two physical resources. So if we spend physical, this gains overkill. We deal five damage to a minion. So three will go on this guard. Then the remaining two goes to claw. And he does have retaliate, so we'll go down to six. Then we're gonna do a heroic, well, yeah, we'll keep doing this. We'll do a heroic strike to deal six damage and stun an enemy since we're paying with a physical resource. So down to 28. Stunned and retaliate. Then we will use her to thwart for two. And Mockingbird to thwart for one. Lift cap over to recover three, taking him back up to eight. And then use this to draw a card and heal. So power of regression and up to nine. And end our turn there. We are going to go ahead and keep these cards, drawing two more. And for cap, we'll go ahead and keep this and draw five more. Starting with one, getting a Relentless Assault, which will get us an encounter card. And then shuffle. And four more cards. Fearless Determination, a Shield Block, Downtime, and Hercules. So three threat comes out, attack on Spider-Man, but he's stunned. He's gonna scheme over here, base three, four, five. And then two for Modoc. We'll trade this one in for three. So we've got 11 over there. Deal out some encounter cards. And for Spider-Man, Modoc is going to get an upgrade, so we've got to kill him twice, but as you can see, I'm not really wasting my time on him. This does get Surge. So either spend one of each resource or exhaust each character we control. So that is an option. Or... We can just play this to ignore the win revealed. Then for Steve, we will go ahead, well, yeah, we'll go ahead and ignore this one too. So it just gets surged and so we're getting one card instead of two. Man out of time. So with that, it's gonna be easy. We're just gonna exhaust our Steve Rogers to remove this from the game. And since we ran out of deck there, get an acceleration token and shuffle this up. And one more. Counter card to deal with. The villain schemes. So base three, four. So we're up to 15 there. 
out of 16. So got lucky. And Steve Rogers becomes first player. First thing we're going to do is draw a card and heal a damage. Getting combat training and up to 10 health. We'll go ahead and flip over. Give us plus one thwart and draw a card into a helicarrier. We'll go ahead and use the power of aggression to give Spider-Man plus one to his attack. Give him some combat training. Go ahead and spin one of each resource type to get rid of his retaliate. Discard a card. Well, do we want to do that? Sure, why not? Discard a card to ready cap to have him swing for three. So down to 25. Then we will spend a physical resource to do two more damage. Down to 23. Then we'll spend a resource to bring in downtime to give us plus two recovery. And over here, I believe I'm just going to swing for three. So taking him down to 20. And we'll end our turn. So getting five cards here. So getting some nice resources, Fearless Determination, Attack Team, and an Uppercut. And over here, like I said, we spent all our cards on the defensive phase. We'll keep Mockingbird and draw four more. Getting for Justice, Spider Tracer, Heroic Intuition, and Surveillance Team. Enemy phase, we're going to get one, two, three, four, which is going to be more than enough to advance this. So going on to 2A, discard cards from the encounter deck. Till minion is discarded, put that minion into play, engage with the first player, advance to 2B. So we found our weapons runner coming in first player. Our threshold here is eight per player, so 16 on here. This stage is completed, the players lose the game. So his first attack. Mockingbird will be jumping in the way. So base two, just three, four damage coming in. Then Modoc hits for two, taking us down to eight. We retaliate for one. Weapons Runner hits us for one. We hit him back for one. Claw initiates an attack. We draw a card into Strength. Just going to deck us, so we're going to get an extra encounter card and shuffle our deck. Then Black Cat will stand in the way of this attack. So this activation deals damage to you, exhaust your hero. So it's not going to put damage on us or Spider-Man. But it does take Black Cat out of the game for a little bit. So hand out some encounter cards. First one on Cap, he gets an armored guard. So he's got three friends on him. One's a little tough. First one on Spider-Man. Place four threat on a side scheme. Which doesn't matter. And the next one. Oh, that one matters. No way to get out of that. So, reveal your set aside Nemesis minion and put it into play engage with you. So, he's got Quick Strike, which means after he engages your hero, he's going to attack for three damage. And I think I'll just take it. 
Then we're going to put our side scheme into play. Each player places a random card from their hand face down here. Turn each face down card here to its owner's hand, so it's getting six threat on it. And for Spider-Man, we will lose this card. And for Cap, we will lose this one. Then the remaining three cards are going to get shuffled in into the encounter stack. And Spider-Man gets to think about what to do. I think we're gonna bring in Mockingbird first for three resources. After she enters play, stun an enemy. We'll pick Claw. Then she will swing to get rid of the toughness. And Spider-Man will swing for three, to get rid of the Armored Guard. Then he will flip over, have Aunt May heal him for four, taking him up to eight. Then we're gonna use his free resource and for justice to bring this into play with three counters on it. Then we will swing for three, down to 17. Then spend a physical resource to do two more damage, down to 15. We'll discard a card to ready cap to have him swing for three again. So down to 12. And we'll spend an uppercut with two resources here and our other serum for three to deal five damage to an enemy. Take him down to seven. And we're going to keep Agent 13 to take a punch here shortly. So that's going to end our turn. So we're getting six cards here. Getting two for Justice, a web shooter, webbed up, the power of Justice, and Nick Fury. We'll keep our strength and draw four more. Seeing Nick Fury's double, a relentless assault, uppercut, and power of regression. So first, one, two, three, four, five, threat coming out. Claw's going to scheme over here for base three, six. And Vulture will add one more. So just like that, 12 threat out there. Then attacking on Captain America. Stun goes away. We'll take two for Modoc down to five. Hitting him back. So he's got three damage on him. Then we'll take one from the weapons runner and do another damage to knock him out. Then deal out some encounter cards. So first, Claw heals for damage. And he's definitely got damage to heal, so take takes care of that. So up to 11. And for Cap. Call attacks you. If this attack deals damage, place a threat on the main scheme. Now 
That's what Agent 13 is for. So base two, three, four damage coming our way. And that knocks her out. And then Cat becomes first player. We'll start off with an uppercut. Using that for two, that for the third. So five damage to an enemy. Down to six. Then we will attack with Captain America for three. And discard a card to ready cap to swing for another three. So Phil, unless I missed something, that was about as easy as it could go with Captain America and Spider-Man taking on Claw in expert mode and dealing with MODOK. Feel free to stay tuned. I'll show you what I have in each of my decks. But until then, if you like this video, please click on the like button below and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching. So as far as our decks, Spider-Man, he's got his base 15 cards, and of course, Webbed Up is great, along with Aunt May and a swinging web kick and backflip and enhanced spider sense. And then, of course, these are just okay, but these are great cards, so really good deck there. So Power of Justice, got two under surveillance, three for Justice, Jessica Jones, Daredevil, two Heroic Intuition, three surveillance teams, and three followed. And then to finish it off, we've got our three resource cards, Mockingbird, Nick Fury, Helicarrier, and two Endurance. For Cap, of course he's got his shield, Heroic Strikes, his resource cards, and his apartment, Agent 13, couple shield blocks, Fearless Determination, Shield Toss, and his helmet. Going through with Aggression, two of those, two Combat Trainings, Asgard Weapon, three Relentless Assaults, three Tac Teams, three Uppercuts, the Hulk, Valkyrie, Tigra, and Hercules. And finishing off, three Resource Cards, Mockingbird, Helicarrier, Downtime, and Nick Fury.